Hi my crafties, it's Tree. I hope you're having a getting crafty day. I am here with the Coco Rosa Studio tutorial. Um, I'm using the printer, but just to remind you that Coco Rosa has a website here and I might still have a special page there. Oh, the coupon code. Oh yeah, it's uh, Tree25 for 25% off. I'm not sure if they're still doing this um, mass, M-A-S, for a free gift. Um, so I'm gonna just um, check their website because they do often have different um, sales that are going on and promotions, so uh, that would be the best. Um, so what I'm going to show you is the project that I made with the printer. Um, obviously the typewriter and the page, the envelope, and the words are very self-explanatory, but I did make a different little project with it. Um, I want to remind you of the dies that I did get. Um, this is a, hold on, it, oh, it's the Christmas hat label and has Santa's hat and um, all kinds of fun things there. Um, there is a Merry Christmas with mistletoe. I do not have a project for that. I used all those up. And then there's antlers, which has the double bow and the antlers. And I think this little round piece came with it. I will find out for certain. Um, so with the, the, what is it called? Merry, you know, Christmas hat label. I made these cute little cards, so cute, and they open up top-wise. So you can use it as a label or a tag, it would be really cute, but I went with a card because I needed cards, and I still never created enough cards to send to everybody, so I never sent Christmas cards out this year to my crafty friends i am so sorry and i only sent to my uh immediate family so uh, yeah I, it was sad sorry christmas on my end um <laughs> i did use the ho 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 here and um we're gonna move on i did use the antlers and bow so super duper cuter they are like like that it's a double bow and the antlers and the back and so cute i love it and i'm seeing right here this one goes with this set and then i put a pom-pom in the center and i used uh, pink and reds whites and golds and they turned out super duper cuter i love 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 love, love that so this one we're going to concentrate on the printer and i went ahead and I created a list of supplies that you may need. So you're definitely gonna need the Coco Rosa Studio printer die, which is this one, the paper, um, the two sentiments, one says hello, one says congratulations, and the envelope. Um, I am using 110 pound white cardstock, uh, gold metallic cardstock, a uh, decorative cardstock in um, Valentine's paper, uh, glitter cardstock pink, a white cardstock, just uh, like a 65 pound or an 80 pound Scotch 3M foam tape, Nuvo Deluxe adhesive, and a die cutting machine, which is my sister's big shot, a scoreboard scoring tool, and a bone folder, a hole punch, which I don't see, um, scissors, and a small heart punch, and reverse tweezers. All right, so here it is my hole punch. It's just a regular office hole punch. Nothing spectacular about that. Um, so what I did was I went out, went ahead, and I cut um, the typewriter in my decorative paper and in the gold metallic. And I um, went ahead and took the gold metallic and I cut out different parts that I wanted to use. Now I did cut out a little piece that goes right here down here on the bottom, and I lost it. I will find it someday, and I will add it to there, or I will re-cut um, it. But um, the keys, I I was like, holy cow, I am not going to fussy cut those keys out. So I just went to the part of the typewriter and took my hole punch and hole punched over those. And then every time I got through a row, I just used my scissors and cut it out to make it reach in there better. 
And that's how I got those. And then the paper here for um, the hello, I was going to make two cards and then I thought I wouldn't need the whole thing because it doesn't show the whole thing. But then I decided I was going to make one that pulls up and is interactive. So we'll get there. Um, and I did use the hello die for the word hello. There is congratulations. Um, and I used the 110 pound card, white card stock, and it's right here. <laughs> And I just put it on the fold, the die on the fold. So I will show you that it hangs over the fold. If I can get it lined up properly. There. And it, you can see that there's a gap here and a gap here. And then that makes it so that the card will still open. It is 110 pound, so it will cut through the one side. And then you may have to uh, fussy cut it with scissors to get the little intricate parts on the or even I used it on the bottom here the whole outline actually so the envelope is really cute really straightforward um, it just cuts out a piece and you can fold all four but I chose to leave the top open I chose to line mine because mine is not lined so what I did was I just cut out some cardstock in this one and I went ahead and cut it in short on the in so that it would fit properly if that makes sense so I, I went ahead and slipped it down not that way and then you do fold the side corners in the, fold the bottom in and then the side corners the little glue on there and I used a Heart punch. Oh, that's a balloon punch. <laughs> Leave it to me. I use a small heart punch to uh, punch out the little heart there. And it is um, up a little high because I wanted it to fit between the two uh, corners here, the two flaps. And I thought it would just look cuter that way. So um, I did not choose to fold this down. I am leaving that up. And where else do we need? nothing all right so let's get into this because we want to make this as short and sweet as possible um what i went ahead and did was i took the paper and i put um i just cut a bit of this and extended it the bottom so that it would be wider than the paper just a little bit so that it would not come through the slot there the slot here is already in the die it comes with that slot right here and I fed the paper up through there and made sure that it wouldn't come out all the way you might want yours to come out all the way I didn't and then I just uh, cut out strips of foam tape and put that along there so I will pause the video and I will remove all the foam tape and I will be right back okay that is done it really didn't take that much time but I figured you probably did not want to see me do it anyway um, as always, I add a little bit of line of glue and then I add the uh, foam tape. And then, so I'm going to add a little bit of foam glue on the foam tape just because I want to make sure it will stick down, have good adhesion. And um, if you can remember, I have a real difficult time gluing and speaking at the same time. <sighs> So I just want to make sure that you all had a very lovely Christmas and New Year's. And I want to take the time to thank Cocorosa Studio for allowing me to work with them and showcase their products on my channel. Um, I love working with them. I'm a little behind because of the holidays. I had family over. And um, that that's always fun. It, it's fun. And then it's, a, you know, a challenge on the other end too so we're just going to fit this on top of the card and I don't have it lined up properly so let me pause a minute okay that didn't take long at all 
and we're just going to glue that down. And now we have a card that has, we can put a little hidden message in there as well as a message in here. Now also um, something that I just thought of, if you were to, um, can't see it now, um, instead of making it slide, if you put like a little pocket down here, you could probably fit a gift card in there. That's something I didn't think about. So um, there's that. And what I was gonna do here was just attach the envelope kind of like that or like that and then decorate it with some flowers and make it look really cute. So let's work on that. Okay, you guys are really thrilled that I did not take you on that ride because <laughs> it seems like a millisecond for you, but it was definitely not. <laughs> so I reached into my Cocorosa Studio dies and I found um, these leaves, the leaf and the flowers, and those come from the uh, flowers in Umbrella. And when they are cut individually, they look like this that really didn't take long but you know I had to put a center in it and that took me some time so I did put a little center in there and this bow I think comes from a die set so I think it came with this one with the oval and the leaves of the bell nope that's the bow it came with this birthday one yes so there was a birthday right there, a birthday cake. So um, that was that one. And um, so I cut it out in kind of a reddish color, rosy red, cherry red, or something like that. And put the flower there and the little envelope here. And you know, you can always tuck something in there too. But then we've got this. So I want to thank you all for um, your crafty love and support and I want to thank you for watching I hope you like this tutorial and you make a card it doesn't have to be um, with the envelope but you know something like that I hope I helped you do that and um, again check out Coco Rosa studio and um, I want to thank you all for watching and <laughs> please like subscribe and ring that bell leave a friendly comment below if you and I will catch you in my next video. Until then, I'll miss you and yours. Bye for now. <laughs>